Canada's first official study, the National Cancer Institute this month announced cigarette smokers run a, run a greater risk of death from lung cancer than non-smokers. The more you smoke, the greater the risk. Charles Templeton. But have you changed your smoking habits? I went to Edmonton this week to canvass the citizens there, and this is what I found out. Well, I don't think there's much to it. Oh, I don't think so. I mean, cancer's caused by so many different things. Well, I'm not worried. I'm just worried that perhaps I should be worried. <laughs> Where there's smoke, there may be fire, but Canadians, at least our Edmonton sample, chooses to live dangerously, smoking to the bitter end. These fear campaigns going on, you're bound to scare the hell out of some people, so I guess some people start smoking. Presumably, life itself is a hazard. We are concerned, but not worried. But well, we've had no fall off in our own sales in Canada. And, uh, of course, the industry at the present time is up about 6% over the same period last year. It must be worth it. The desire that never dulls. The taste that never satisfies. A generation ago, the word heard round the world. Cigarettes cause cancer. Uh, it relaxes me. Uh, I like smoking. I, I don't see anything wrong with it. Nearly 20 years have passed, and the cigarette remains the welcome social mixer, relaxer of the ill at ease. The number of those dedicated to smoke-free air has been growing, as have local bylaws, telling smokers where they can and where they can't. Do you think it's becoming more socially unacceptable to smoke? Yeah, most certainly. Government researchers in Canada and the United States say that smoke and fumes from cigarettes are a serious health hazard, not just to smokers, but to non-smokers as well. Incredibly, they have discovered more than 3,800 toxic compounds. Such chemicals as formaldehyde, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen cyanide, present in concentrations up to 50 times those in the smoke that a smoker inhales. There's lots of uh, people who've been through fear a scared to eat bread, scared to eat butter, uh, refrain from eating sugar. I think they're pretty good commodities myself. Now you know what you're asking for when you ask for a packet of cigarettes.